Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Here is another underwater video of Pike hitting a rigged herring that's sitting under a Polar HT tip-up. This is from the day that I was always still fishing with that iFish Pro. This is the bait that I had hanging in five feet of water and I only got one hit that just triggered the flag and was gone and I actually thought there were very minimal fish swimming through the shallow water. Well, I watched this video later and I couldn't believe there was pretty constant action for the hour and a half or whatever the camera was down there. And check this out, even a walleye comes in to check out my bait, but this pike has different ideas and is going to chase this walleye off. But the walleye has to show him a little bit of aggression and flicks up that back dorsal fin to show him who's boss. Anyways, pike pushes the walleye off because he wants this bait all to himself. But to tell you the truth, he's not that interested in it. These pike in the shallow water weren't really taking this bait and I figure something must be wrong with it because over and over you'll watch out through this video they were just ignoring it and not crushing it like I would have figured because in the same amount of time the iFish Pro got hit and I landed about six to seven different pike on that bait. Same herring, same package, I don't know what it was if I had something on my hands or whatnot they would come in, taste the bait, and then spit it out and take off. Most pike, they come in, they taste it, they'll swallow that thing and take off, and you got a pike on. Now, this is the new orientation I'm using for my baits. Head down, about a 45 degree angle, hook the first uh, treble on the quick strike rig near the back of the head, and then the other one just behind the dorsal fin, so it sits at about a 45 degree angle. And you'll see all these pike come in, they kind of like this orientation and they always grab the head. It's easier for them to grab the bait uh, head first. Now, I've fished with the baits horizontally before and a lot of times what they'll do, they'll grab it when they first hit it uh, halfway, midway in the body. And what happens is, if depending on how you have it hooked, when you set the hook, you'll rip it right out of their mouth. This way, they usually get the head and that one hook at least in their lips so you can run up and set the hook pretty quick uh, and you'll usually get a good hook set for the fish. Now you'll also see I use red trebles you can see them in there I like using red trebles I don't know why and a fluorocarbon leader that's an 80 pound fluorocarbon leader and you see you can't even see it you can barely see it in this shot attaching the two red treble hooks and uh, the pike don't seem to mind how this bait is rigged but like I said look how they bite it barely taste it it drifts away from them they would give a taste see how he's sucking in water to give it a taste and then they'll swim off so I'm thinking I had something on my hands because I was using hand cream because my hands were drying out and this was the first bait I set in the morning I probably got something on this bait and that's why they were avoiding it super critical when you're putting baits in the water, don't have any chemical type stuff on your hands, especially oils like hand lotions. Hey, look at this. Fish coming in from the left, much bigger pike. Biggest one that we saw on the camera swimming to the right. Must have been about 8 to 10 pounds at least. Totally d ignored this bait. So the fish were still a little bit off this day, even though I did catch more than the previous days. And here comes another one to check out this bait and like I said over and over they give a little bite they don't these guys aren't even setting off the flag not one of these times did the flag get set off because I didn't even know they were down there they're just barely grabbing this bait and spitting it out <laughs> so frustrating when you watch the video afterwards but at least it gives me a good idea to be more careful when I'm setting the baits because I'm sure I did something wrong with this one and that's why all these pike were dropping it so fast after putting it in their mouth because this bait was from the exact same package that I got the all the rest from that caught all the fish that same day I, I was fishing with the iFish Pro. Hey and if you haven't seen that video go check it out it's really good catch some big ones uh, 33 inch 31 inch and a nice 38 inch fat pike probably was around 16 pounds the one that I actually called 8 pounds in that video is weighed later at 10 pounds at home. Yeah, this was a little bit fatter pike in this shot right here. And you saw how he came in a little bit more aggressively. Obviously, he knows how to eat and catch fish. But after that one hit that was more aggressive than any others we saw, he took his time. And look how he took that little taste. You see how he breathes in a little bit of water to run that smell over his taste buds? He decided not to take it. Anyway, that's the end of our video. Thanks for watching, guys.
Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video. Thanks for watching.